Hey there, welcome to Let's Do Vegas TV. I'm your host, Alan Fawcett, and if you're a fan of TV game shows, animated cartoon series, and best-selling books, then the name Louis Anderson will put a smile on your face, a lump in your throat, and a glow in your heart, just like he did for us when we visited the larger-than-life Vegas headliner at the Excalibur Hotel and Casino. Now let's watch Louis in action as he welcomes his audience to Las Vegas and deals them a winning evening of larger-than-life laughter. Welcome! Hi, you guys! Welcome to Vegas! What? Welcome to Vegas! Yeah! All right, good to have you here. God. Are you winning now? Are you playing? You gambling? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Losing your ass, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that true? People always say, Are you winning? Oh, I'm just, uh, what? <laughs> Or you justify it. Well, I'm down 50 bucks, but I had three free drinks. <laughs> and that's a mattress. I had an ashtray in my pocket. <laughs> what do you play? What's your game? Video poker. Oh, the slot machines. Like throwing in the sewer. <laughs> there, you got it all now. Can I get a buffet coupon? <laughs> I miss the coins. Yeah. I used to love having that big cup of coins I could walk around and taunt people. <laughs> That's about a half a million dollars. <laughs> then you cash it in. Try two fifty, sir. <laughs> me, right? It cost me 800 to get that. <laughs> now they have that damn bill acceptor. Take it right out of your pants. Boom, son of a <laughs> f I wasn't sure I was gonna play. <laughs> oh, I do love pirates. <laughs> hey, Louie, thanks for joining us. Hey, Alan, how are you? Nice to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. Many viewers will recognize you as the host of Family Feud. What's the funniest moment you ever had on the show? Hey, uh, I guess when I said uh, so to somebody, name something that grows larger as you grow older, and they said, penis. And I was, you know, pleased with that. And Happy to know beeped. that. It didn't get beeped out? It didn't get beeped <laughs> out because, you know, it's not really, you know, it's a part of us. What do you play, sir? What's your game? Blackjack. That's a good game. You don't have to know how to play it. Just sit in between two people, they'll play your cards for you. Let's see, I got a 14. Hit it! What? Hit it! The dealer's got a 10, you gotta figure he's got 20. Well, I got a 10 and I don't have 20. I got a 4. All right, hit it. Oh, I busted. Yeah, but you played it right. <laughs> don't ever split tens. I did that once. People yelled at me. You don't split tens. Well, I won. It doesn't matter if you win. <laughs> it doesn't? No, you screwed it up for the whole table. I'm representing the table? <laughs> Shouldn't there be a cape or a crown that comes with that? <laughs> Louis, one of your books talks about the F word. The F word, how to survive your family. And the F word being family and other words uh, that are used. But, you know, I'm so close to my family now. Uh, that we were just, you know, the only thing we fight over is butter. Give us a couple of family survival tips. Well, the top couple ways to survive your family is time yourself at family gatherings. Go in with a certain amount of time you're going to spend there. Another thing is get there late, leave early, right? And the biggest thing, the biggest piece of advice I'd give someone is when you go home, don't expect people's roles to change, even if you have. <laughs> First time I came here, I went $100 late. 
1978 or something on a quarter machine. I had it right for the blackjack table. Thought, you know, because you had that dumb talk with yourself on the way to cashing it in. Slow down, big guy. <laughs> See that hundred you won? Yeah. That could be a thousand. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> well, that blackjack dealer looks stupid. <laughs> oh my God, he's an idiot. <laughs> Walk over there, put my money down. Five seconds later, whoo, gone. This is a lucky casino. The biggest mega bucks was hit here about three months ago. Guy was getting married. His fiance was late. He was waiting downstairs for. Her. He threw a hundred in the wheel of fortune. Three point four million. Still got married. That's true love, huh? <laughs> Louis, are you going to write another book? I am working on another book. And what are you going to call it? How to Win All My Money Back in Vegas. Chapter one so far. Not going well. You founded a charity called HERO. What's HERO stand for? HERO is a, a homeless empowerment relationship organization. And uh, it's about relationships and it's a mentoring program because the weakest link in our society, which is the homeless link, is as strong as our society is. Until we fix that, we're all gonna be limping a little. Give us your website. LouisAnderson.com And will I be able to buy your books and DVDs there? You'll be able to buy everything, including my old underwear. They're gonna be, uh, they're going fast. Your Emmy award-winning animated series, Life with Louis, will be out on DVD soon. Congratulations on your two Emmys. My two Emmys were a complete shock and a surprise. I was very pleased. I won two years in a row, and that cartoon was a really great part of my life. I got to recreate my family, put the humanity, the humility, and the humor back in some situations that weren't always funny. And I hear you got a reality show in the Yes, world. we're working on a show right now called Living with Louie, which is a reality show, so keep your eyes uh, peeled for that. Not a sitcom. Not yeah. a sit. well, a sitcom, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to be sitting a lot, and there's going to be comedy in it, so that'd be my sitcom. Louis, it was a pleasure speaking with you, and thank you for staying larger than life. Alan, it was great talking with you, and have a great day. Now, Louis Anderson and his show, Larger Than Life, is at the Excalibur Hotel and Casino. If you'd like to see Louis for free, just log on to www.letsdovegasforfree.com and enter our drawing to win a free pair of VIP comp tickets. And while you're there, be sure to check out dozens of other free drawings and streaming video on all your favorite shows, restaurants, and nightclubs, available only on Let's Do Vegas TV. And with a special message for our Vegas-bound viewers, here's Las Vegas show producer Adam Steck. Hi, I'm Adam Steck, producer of Thunder From Down Under. Louis Anderson's Larger Than Life, Ron Lucas, uh, the ventriloquist over at the Luxor, world's greatest ventriloquist, Sylvia Brown, the world-renowned psychic, and I have American Storm, my male review that we produced from the reality show Strip Search on VH1. And you're watching Let's Do Vegas TV. Can you believe it?